Hey y'all, welcome back. <laughs> I got a story to tell you about some yarn and crocheting. Oh boy, for all those who don't want to hear, now's your chance. Run away. Of course, I might talk about quarantine. I don't know. I don't remember. I had to go back and record this because I made such a mess of the last video. <laughs> I'm making a mess of this one too. I just wanted to say, hey y'all, let's get this party started. So, I went and got yarn for my birthday. And now, it wasn't really to make me something. I'd already made me something. So, I bought the yarn and I made something for Sarah, Emily, Molly, and Piper, as it turns out. So, what you will see are the booties that I made. And just so you know, um, when you see them, Piper's little booties was kind of an experiment. I used the exact same pattern, same number of stitches, but I used a different hook and I used different yarn. And it gave me, instead of Yaya size booties, we got Piper size booties. And you'll get to see them on her. The other I wanted to show y'all that and, you know, what I've been up to and what keeps me busy. Uh, idle hands are a devil's workshop. That's what I grew up hearing. And it is so true. I don't know if I heard it a lot or not. I just I always stay busy. I've been knitting and crocheting since I was just a little girl. Um, I was about six when Mama taught me to knit. And she didn't know how to crochet. So I was in the fifth grade, eight or nine years old. And my girlfriend Tina, because me and her got special privilege to sit out in the hallway and she taught me to crochet. I think Miss Lovett. Thank you, Miss Lovett, wherever you are. <laughs> and I learned on a stick. Just a regular stick. I didn't have a hook. So I learned really wonky way of doing it and I knew how to knit so I kind of did it like I was knitting and then about the time I got 30 years old in my 30s I was pregnant with Emily uh, when my friend Wendy she taught me how to use a Susan Bates crochet hook how to hold the yarn so you get tension and how to make something well I did and um, and that's a lot another story that for another day um, but anyway, um, I'm telling you the story of me learning to crochet. Uh, then, sometime after that, I never have really enjoyed, I like, no, I like to crochet, but I didn't really like the fabric it made. As far as really crocheting, I started when I was down in Coyote House and making some little market bags, um, I sent them out to some friends. Somebody, I think my friends in Oregon got one. Um, I sent one to Vanessa. Those of you who know Vanessa out in California, I sent her one. But anyway, I went from there to, I saw this really awesome make a basket. So I made a ton of baskets. I made, that's what my, um, my wood carrier, I crocheted that. Now that was made out of macrame yarn. And as you see, I do a little bit of macr macrame. <laughs> I used to do more back in the 70s. As a matter of fact, it was one of the first things that I made and tried to sell at little um, consignment shops. And I did sell some, but um, most of my trying to sell things has never been enough to make a living at. But I did, for a while, I sold on Etsy until they changed their policy so badly that I just it was too much for me to keep up with so I was like just forget it I'll just make things and then give them away and that's mostly what I do um, you will see in the video that um, all of the booties were given away um, and this is what I did in January um, and then uh, the baskets those were for my friends up in Oregon and I don't think they check their mail a lot either because I haven't heard from them. I need to check in with them. Y'all got baskets. Because <laughs> it's been like two weeks. And um, so anyway, I did that. And then, and then there was this idea of the quarantine thing. 
and my yarn being imported from Turkey, mostly. Most of it's not from China. Most of it is from Turkey. Some of it's from China. But anyway, um, and I thought, if I don't get to go anywhere, I need to keep my hands busy, which also helps keep my mind busy. Because in my last Friday video, when I was talking about when all of those things represent so many prayers and, and just hopes and dreams and and while I'm making them, I'm thinking about the people that I'm making them for and that kind of thing, you know. So it, It's the first time ever I have ever bought so much yarn at one time and didn't really have a purpose. Meek! Well, I kind of have a purpose. Don't panic. <laughs> one thing I was looking at is a sweater, and it is crocheted. And it, but it's a very unusual pattern, so it doesn't look crocheted so much. And the other thing is something that you will also see at the end of the video, near the end of the video. I'm, I'm making a table cover for my round purple table. Um, it's metal, and I'm I'm afraid of it getting scratched and stuff. And I just thought it would be pretty and. And it was a good use and keeping my hands busy for a while anyway. Because um, I tend to obsess with these things. But I'm designing it as I go. So, um, and then sometimes I follow patterns. And I'm so excited! <coughs> Baby dolls. Little tiny ones that you can crochet. Maybe. I've got some extra yarn that's like doll colored. I might could do that and make some little clothes. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. So, um, yeah. These are the things I do. That, and I'm still um, doing the Bible reading challenge, which um, is, wow, sometimes it's like 14, 15 chapters in a day. Um, and I read it, and I listen to it, and sometimes I just listen to it, and sometimes I just read it, and sometimes I read it and listen to it at the same time. But there's a whole lot of, and sometimes if I listen to it, sometimes I listen to it more than once in the day. It's according to how early I get started. So I'm doing that. I'm following the news. Lots of uh, lots of stories. Lots of threats. Yeah, I call them threats. It's scare tactics. It's like, okay, be scared, be scared, be scared. And then it's like, oh, never mind. I told Bob it's like, I lived in North Carolina most of my life. And um, hurricanes. Hurricanes coming. Oh, hurricanes coming. Oh, my gosh. It's the biggest hurricane we've ever had. Until it gets there. You scared us to death for nothing. <laughs> okay, they can't really tell. I know that. I know that. But, they can't really tell about this thing either. But, from what it looks like, people, our worst, um, I, I, I think, you know, we all might be getting stuck in the house. So, now's the time to buy your yarn while it's still there. Because if you think I'm the only one that had the idea, get ready now in case you can't get more. <laughs> they might be sold out. Gotta hurry. Um, so, there's that. And... Uh, yeah, I have gotten a little extra stuff. You see my little, you can see them down here. Let's see if I'm point. Uh, there they are. Those are my cannon jars. I bought cannon jars. You see them here too. And I store my dry goods mostly in there. Um, and so I've got my shed full of all kinds of things. There's my little spice rack I just put up. And, um, so I've got food, I've got shelter, I've got clothing, and I am growing some food. Yikes! I can't wait to update you. It's like a real garden almost. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm looking at it. It's because I got it out on the porch because it's nice and warm and sunny and, and protected from the wind. Last year I tried to put things out this time of year. And they would have been fine except for the wind just beat them to death. Just about. They still survived. But... It was just too hard for them. So, anyway, I've got lettuce, and I might get a salad. I've got enough lettuce, I could pick a salad. Wouldn't that be fun? 
I'll have to show you if I do that. Maybe in another video. But I got a special surprise coming up. <sighs> Soon. I haven't decided when. But it's coming. It's coming. I'm trying to keep you updated on all the stuff. Because, you know, things happen every day. And so, I try not to... <sighs> Over overwhelm you with all of it. It's so funny having a YouTube channel. And I know there are people that want to, you know, that, that like to hear about what I'm making and doing and just talking. Because it is just a vlog. It's not a, it's not a whole lot of information. Don't come here for information because you're going to get random. <laughs> and I'm never, you know, these days, the news that's being reported and the information that we have is so untrustworthy. So, we just kind of look to the Father. Ask Him for His will to be done on earth. As it is in Him. So, and then let us keep doing what we're supposed to be doing. Cause that's what we're supposed to be doing is just do what you got to do <laughs> so um stay tuned there's a little bit more at the end here so you can see all the projects i've been doing or most of them not all of them i love y'all And of course, right here, I'm making a table cover. 
cover. Thank you.